All right, you ready to take a journey across the world to, how about Singapore? Oh, we definitely are. And here to show us the way is Kane De Fidipe, the author of this month's Read with Jeanette book club pick, The Sun Sets in Singapore. We're going to chat with her in a moment. But first, let's take a peek inside these pages. In her debut novel, The Sun Sets in Singapore, author Kinde Fadipe takes us on a journey across the world to beautiful, luxurious Singapore. Friends Dara, Amaka, and Lillian have left their Nigerian roots behind to start anew, building careers, families, and falling in love against the backdrop of sunny beaches and glamorous fashion. Until one handsome newcomer creates chaos. Each woman will have to face and embrace their past and learn to lean on each other to find their futures. <laughs> Can they welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you. And by the way, what a bunch of great women right here. Hello to the completely booked book club. They've got members all over the country, and their goal is to read stories from authors of all different backgrounds. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. We love that. Okay, yeah. Kinde, we're so happy you're here. You came from Singapore. I did, yes. I, I know because we've got into Zoom a little bit, but tell us how this novel came to be. Well, I started writing it about six or seven years ago, um, and I originally wrote something that was a little heavier, a little mm -hmm. bit darker, and I just had my son, so I really didn't want to go back into a heavy space when I was editing yeah. the book. Um, and I just decided to write something a little bit lighter that was capturing all different types of people I was meeting in Singapore. I'd not been there long. Uh, I was part of an amazing writing group as well. Um, and um, it was just a way for me to write about the different types of women, specifically black women, that I was meeting in Singapore. It attracts a lot of very different people mm. from all over the world. Um, and, and I actually, at the time, had a blog. So every week, I would publish a little chapter oh, that's and start to get feedback. And my confidence grew a little bit as a writer. And I just decided that I was going to kind of take the plunge and develop it into a full-length novel. I love the blog uh, portion of that because you do. It's almost like you're testing it out to see how is it exactly. being received. What was really resonating with people? Um, well, first of all, I'll say that that's something Dickens did. Yeah. He used to publish weekly, so I was mm. inspired by that. Um, I, I found that people really enjoyed um, definitely the drama. Yes. Yeah. It was, the chapters were shorter <laughs> then, and so even, even more dramatic. Um, and I think also just the pastiches of life in Singapore. That's something mm. that I really wanted to just capture. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted you to get a sense of what it's like going to different parts of Singapore. Mm. And, um, you know, it's a country that has UNESCO heritage sites, but it also has, like, amazing bars and nightlife. It's great for families. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, you can get a really different sense of flavor just from going from shifting from one part of town to another. Mm. So, yeah. They well, and if people have not, and I know we have you all to ask questions, have not read this book, it is like taking a book vacation. Mm -hmm. You do not need to get on a plane. <laughs> and it really is about friendship mm -hmm. and why we need women in our lives. And I love that. But, okay, we want to get to y'all's questions. Okay. Um, so, I'm oh, sorry, let me get to your questions. Here we go. Where, do you have I them? think Jordan is first. Yes. Where's Jordan? Hi, Jordan. Hi, how are you? Thanks Good. for having us. My question is, why Singapore right now for the world in, in focusing specifically on African women in this metropolis area? Yeah. Well, first of all, I, I hadn't really read a book with mm -mm. Um, women from the African diaspora or, or, or characters from the African diaspora in Asia. Mm. Um, but I wrote what I was experiencing. So if I was living, you know, maybe in a different part of the world, maybe that's what I would have written. Um, but there are a lot of... Um, People from the diaspora in, in Singapore come to work. They're bankers, lawyers, teachers, and spouses as well, travel with their families. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's um, their stories that we haven't really heard. Yeah. Um, and it's, I think, for me, I, I found it enjoyable showing what these different women were experiencing. And some of them are struggling financially. Some of them are thriving financially. Mm -hmm. Some of them are struggling with their families. But all of them have some kind of baggage or history mm. that they've sort of, they're trying to leave behind that you can't in order to move mm -hmm. forward. So it's a country that is, um, in terms of time zones, you know, very <laughs> yes. far away from the rest yeah. of the world. <laughs> trying to yeah. get on a Zoom with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's really tricky. Hard. It's very hard. Um, yeah. And we also have a question from Ashley. Hello, good morning. Morning. Were you always going to write the characters as expats and do you think that contributed to their struggles individually yes I, w I was always going to write them as expats because I'm an expat that's that's um that's that's probably the only reason I would be in Singapore is, <laughs> is, is either for work or with my partner who's for work who's there for work um, and I think that's true to many of the characters in the book 
Um, so yeah, that was definitely something I was always going to do. The characters were already fully formed from the very beginning. They didn't really change from draft to draft. Mm. Um, the plot changed somewhat. Uh, my amazing editors helped me to kind of bring out and tease out what was working and, and take out what wasn't, shorten the book. <laughs> it was very hard to the book. They really wanted me to try and bring um, the Lanny character, who's the inciting incident in earlier, yeah. which was we kind of had a tug of war about that because I like books to kind of slowly unfold, but I think mm -hmm. readers want things to move really quickly. <laughs> so that was um, something that we worked on. But yeah, they were always going to be expats. All right, I think we have time for passion. Yes, passion. good morning. Hi, passion. Hello. So my question is, thinking about how African-American women or black women are tr traditionally written about mm -hmm. in books, what made you think out of the box and um, mm -hmm. look at, write about us from a different lens? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I'll say I'm, I don't know that I was in the box to begin with. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wrote the women as I met them, as I saw them. I didn't think, oh, I have to, or I want to try and portray them a different way. I just tried as much as I could to capture their energy. And Lillian, for example, um, you know, is quite a vulnerable character. Mm -hmm. And yes. I loved right. I found her very emotional to mm -hmm. write at yes. times. And, um, you know, she was inspired by someone I met at an event with a lot of African-American women. I can't remember her name. I didn't really even speak to her. <laughs> but it was just her energy was mm -hmm. just very soft and gentle. And there was a lot of um, noise around her, but she was sort of very something very held about her. Mm -hmm. I was very intrigued by her. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started to build that character. So, I mean, as many different types of black women as they are, there should be many different types of characters and they, yes. they just exist. Yes. And then you bring them together and hopefully there's a little bit of conflict, but yes. hopefully and there's magic. connection as well. Magic. Yes, exactly. Kendi, we adore you. Oh, this oh, book you. is incredible. Yeah. This, first of all, this is your debut. I yeah. can't. You have to read this book. Yeah. Get it for your holiday. Read it on vacation. It's incredible. And we're going to be working together more, which is really, really exciting. Can't wait to hear more about that. I know. It's so going to be good. It's, so if you guys are wondering if this is coming to TV, the answer is yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> To, to check out the sunsets in Can Singapore. Can we all go to Singapore? Yes! Yes! <laughs> to check it out, um, go buy it wherever you buy your indie books or go to today.com slash read. Congratulations. Thank you. Kinder.